a first in a long, long time. On April 10th, 2010, in Abu Dhabi, heavy underdog Frankie Edgar defeated the greatest lightweight in MMA history to win the UFC lightweight title. And new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Tom Trevor, baby! Critics claim the win was a fluke, so just four months later, Edgar faced Penn in a rematch for the title. He has already taken BJ down more than he's ever been taken down his career at lightweight. Once again, an overwhelming underdog, Edgar convincingly beat Penn and successfully defended the UFC lightweight title. And still this is the story of the ultimate underdog. This is UFC Profile. Wrestling in New Jersey is uh, one of the major sports played in this state. I think it has a lot to do with the blue collar people, for one. One of the toughest states in the country, and um, Jersey Shore specifically has, has known to have really, really good wrestlers. Uh, region 6 alone has four guys in the UFC that, that wrestled in Region 6, and that's from the Jersey Shore area. Wrestling makes a man out of you. It disciplines you. It teaches you to lose weight. It's, it's your own sport, you go out there, it's one-on-one. -on -one. Go, Frankie, go! Tom's River is uh, pretty much a sports town. Growing up around here, you, you either wrestled or, uh, or got in trouble, or, or a little bit of both. Wrestling, you're a different breed, I think. Special people wrestle, and uh, I think that's for a reason. You know, you gotta be mentally tough, and, and, and physically tough, but more mentally than anything, and I think that's what uh, you know, brought me to wrestling. Growing up, Frankie was a ball of energy non-stop, always going. Always had to be doing something. Running, jumping, never could sit still. He was small, and people tend to pick on people that are small. So I think that he always felt like he had to defend himself. That's why we got him in wrestling. And he, he loved the sport, he, li he, liked, he liked to fight. Young Frankie took up sports as an outlet for his energy and to keep him out of trouble. He started wrestling at the Toms River Wrestling Club where instructor Steve Rivera took him under his wing. A four-time NCAA All-American and 1992 NCAA champion, Rivera began teaching Frankie the intricacies of wrestling. I think Steve, uh, you know, saw definitely the potential in me. Um, I think we're kind of a lot alike, you know, um, driven people, type A type people. I was also raw at the time, you know, only had a year of experience, and I felt he could, you know, I, I think he felt he could mold in me the way he wanted me to. His implementation of your instruction separates him from a lot of people, any good person that you train. Some guys are great athletes, but not all great athletes are co very coachable. His ability to be coachable has made him a great athlete. We had two, a couple years together before he hit high school where he ran into one of our local legend coaches, Warren Reed. High School East, when I was you know, coming in, was, uh, was, was definitely the dominant school out of the three high schools in Toms River. My biggest attraction to it was Warren Reed, our, our, the high school wrestling coach. Legendary wrestling coach Warren Reed has presided over the Toms River East Raiders for the past 32 years. Frankie was always a phenomenal wrestler in, in the attitude that he had. He had real good work ethics, uh, always trained to better himself. He hated to lose. And when he got troubles, he always came to the coach for advice to better himself. We had a good team. I think that year we were ranked, you know, top 10 in the state, and uh, it was going to be tough to make the lineup. At high school, East, I haven't had too many guys that make varsity for four years. You know, people didn't know if I was going to, but, uh, you know, I, I knew that was my goal, was to, to make the lineup and, and just be part of something special, be part of that, that solid team. Underdog is our standard with Frankie, you know, and, and it's a position we've sat in for as long as I've really known him. I remember coming in that day being nervous, man, real nervous because everything's riding on that one match, you know. You, you lose that match, you don't get another match till maybe halfway through the season to see if you make a team. Double, Frankie, double, double! Yeah. 
for me to win, it was great. So to fill into the lineup as a freshman, which Frankie did, and uh, do that is, is a hard accomplishment. I never doubted myself, but uh, I definitely was a realist, you know? So I knew it was gonna be tough, but uh, you know, looking back now, I'm like, wow, why, why didn't I think I was gonna get it, you know? But I think that's what drove me to, to work hard, you know, and, and to push every day. Frankie always wanted to be the best at what he did, and he was always like trying to be the best and would do whatever it took for him to be the best. So during wrestling season, he would never go out. If we had parties to go to or whatever, he would never go if it was wrestling season. He was always very dedicated, at home, cutting weight, sleeping early, whatever he had to do to be at practice that next day, 100%. I only lost one match my junior year, and uh, I was came in uh, as a senior, and uh, the kid that beat me was still in my weight class, and you know, the whole, talk was we're going to meet again in the finals. I make it to the state tournament. I haven't lost a match. I haven't really even had a close match. I pretty much dominated everyone throughout the year. And I semi-finals wrestle this kid, Mike Booth. He's trying to reverse Edgar. He ends up beating me like um, by a point or two in the semis. Making the score 10 to 7. We lost that on a hand grip. And I can still visualize that hand grip and that one second there of what, how we didn't let go of that grip that cost us that match. I remember coming into high school saying, I want to be a two-time state champ. You know, I always set high goals, because, you know, why not? Took second my junior year. I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm close, I'm there. And then I was like, I'm definitely going to win in my senior year. And uh, senior year didn't happen, I ended up taking fifth. And that was just uh, tough to deal with. Frankie, no! For me, because I'm so competitive, like when I lose, like I, for, I'd automatically be like, I can't do this anymore. I can't handle losing, you know? That's part of getting mentally tough and, and dealing with it, you know? Uh, I know um, it took me a long time, maybe until after college. Like if I lost in the middle of a tournament, a lot of times I couldn't bounce back. I was wasn't, I, I was just, my head wasn't in it. It'd be so hard for me to bounce back. And uh, I think that's helped me back in my career. You know, I tell some, some of my wrestlers now and some little guys that I coach, like, if you could bounce back now, that's gonna, that's gonna help you in the long run, you know? For me, I couldn't do that. That's why I'm, I'm glad we only fight one, one time a night, you know? So, uh, win, lose, or draw, you know, I'm all right. <laughs>